Big round for Mike Weaver. This the fourth. The cut will be a factor. Two left jabs by Weaver. The cut is over the left eye. Right at the moment. And there's a big right hand by Weaver. Thomas is hurt again. I just heard Mike Weaver's wife. And another combination. There was some consternation between rounds. We'll try to find out exactly what happened. Ray Leonard is trying to find out just what happened. It was in the audience somewhere involving something with Mike Weaver's his, wife. His wife, they say she collapsed. We'll that, try to keep you posted. And blood started to show above the left eye of Thomas. Listen to the crowd. Weaver, Weaver, he has become the favorite here. Pinkley Thomas being hit by those left hook and right hand of uh, Mike Weaver because he's moving back. And Angelo was telling Thomas not to back up because he makes himself susceptible to take those shots. Thomas also breathing through his mouth like a tired fighter. Look for some body shots by Mike Weaver now. Weaver's been there, remember. A lot of experience. <laughs> Weaver just looks, looks right now like he's trying to pick one shot. And it's a mistake that he's making because he's given Pickett Thomas an opportunity to get back into this fight because he was hurt. Look at the left jab of Mike Weaver. Very effective. The cut is not really any trouble right at the moment to Pinkman Thomas. Very little blood showing. Two good jabs again by Weaver. Very strong jabs. I mean, they've talked about Pinkman Thomas's jab, but Weaver's jab has been every bit as effective in this fight. Right on the mouth of Mike Weaver from Pinkman Thomas. Mike Weaver a little off balance there, and he's he's trying to get that right hand through. Look at it, two pretty good looking heavyweights here. And a jab of Weaver, very effective. That's not to take anything away from the one of Thomas. And again, the jab of Weaver in the face of Thomas. This is a jabbing contest. But I mean, they're strong jabs. Mike looks prepared to throw a body shot the way he leans, because he digs it in. At the bell, just to clear up what happened between rounds, we mentioned that Mike Weaver's wife passed out. What actually happened was that Mike Weaver's mother got in a fight. <laughs> Did she win? Okay, man, give me some deep breaths. Way up, way up. All right, head out here. Come on. Now listen, Mike, here's what you let him do. You've got to keep taking it to him. You jab, jab, you hurt him, then you back off here. That gives him the initiative, you understand? Stay with this guy. Keep jabbing, but two jabs all the time. And he's got a body, you're forgetting that body. When you get inside, nothing else. Tie up the left hook in close, okay? When you try to get in, come on, I afford a bad, bad fight, son. Come on now, pick it up. When you try to get in close, show you a little more grease on this. Second out. Come on. Step up a little. Go to work. Let's go to work. They look like they're working pretty hard to me, right? Angelo wants them to work harder. This is the fifth round great fight so far. Angelo wants Thomas to tie up that left hook because that left hook, uh, Mike Weaver has been landed. And it's nothing to play with. Angelo telling Weaver he's fighting a bad fight. Or rather Thomas, I beg your pardon. And uh, I tell you, it's, it's, not, it's not something that you want to hear. Oh, I'm <laughs> corner they were telling him you're the one that's backing off don't back off stay on top of it look at the jab now and what's happening good left hook by Pickle Thomas but Mike Weaver's jab has more authority on it now Pickle Thomas jab is more consistent but left hook that hurt Pickle Thomas 
you have to be impressed by anything without heavyweight division is their ability to take a punch. There's a right hand by Thomas, but Weaver says no, it didn't harm me none. Two more jabs. Mike appears to be a much better fighter since that uh, unfortunate Lockwell win by disqualification to Tony Anthony back in November. He seems to be a new fighter, newborn fighter. He has had a roller coaster career to be sure. And why Mike can't get that right hand in cleanly is because he raises up. He throws two jabs and he comes up. Again, no further damage on that cut above the left eye of Pinkman Thomas. You don't see him wait for these, these kind of left jabs that often. Very, very, very seldom you see this, this type of punches going. That was a pawing left hand that time by Thomas. Did not have the sting that he had earlier. A, a right hand would work beautifully against Pinkman Thomas because what's that left hand? It keeps it down. It's just laying there. It's all the way down by his thigh. Reminds you of Thomas Earn. But hers is fast. A lot fast. Mike looks so tired. He does look tired. I was just going to say, right at the moment, Pinkman Thomas looks the fresh. Body shot by Mike Lee. Good body shot. Takes the right hand. Mike Weaver as he goes to work here. I thought Thomas slipped all of those punches actually. And that was just a pawing right hand. But there was a good punch inside. Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? You gonna go to work on this guy? Just go to work, please. Mike Weaver's body punching Mike Chell in this fight, conditioning Mike Chell in this fight. It's a terrific heavyweight fight right now. Sixth round, scheduled for 12. There's a cut on the inside of... Um, <laughs> Pick his his left lip. Lower lip, rather. That was there almost from the opening bell, actually. Thomas seemed a little tired in the middle of the fifth round, but then finished with a rush. So he might have just been pacing himself. Now Mike Weaver is retreating. It's not in his best interest. Mike fights, Mike fight is to take the fight to his opponent. He's far more effective that way. Backing up, Thomas can use that jab. Tempo has slowed a little bit here in the sixth round. Mike Weaver throwing a, a number of left jabs. 
So he, could, he possibly could be psyching out Pico Thomas to say, hey, my jab's just as good as yours. And I'm not too sure, but at least on this night, it isn't. He's been very effective with it. Two good runs that time by Thomas. Two good runs coming back by Mike Weaver. And there's a couple more. They're just bothersome. The left jab, it's a thing of beauty. And both of these guys are executing it so well. And it's very active. Good left hook by Mike Weaver. He's doing so. He's throwing a very crisp jab. I said earlier that Weaver had a mountain to climb, and I think he's climbed it, and I have him ahead by a point so far in this fight. Kind of bend down and hit him with right hand to the kidney and try to set him up with your left hook. Give me the spit bucket. Spit bucket! Bring the spit bucket here. Okay, give him a rinse. We're listening Please. to Don Manuel Take in the other corner as well as this fella. corner with Pinklin Thomas. Double jab on the guy. You shouldn't take a jab from this fella. Hit him with right hand. Too good a fighter for this guy. Let's right go to Orton. Round the body. Vaseline. Sit your left hook. And hit him with left hook to the joint. Okay, Mom, 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 Seventh round, still a long road to hoe here. <laughs> Incidentally, what we were hearing there was only Pinklin Thomas's corner. We were not hearing Mike Weaver's corner. A little hard to tell sometimes with the audio in the corner that gets jumbled. The right hand of Thomas started to get through. <laughs> Did a great job, incidentally, on the cut of Pinklin Thomas. It has been no bother to him since it happened. Good right hand. Mike appeared to have buckled him by the right hand. Yes, he did. Took his full step back. There's a right hand by Weaver. And now Thomas holds on. No question about it, but both guys are starting to hurt each other. But I think what, what is happening, they're hitting each other with their best shot, and they stop it. They need to stop following up those shots. And I'm surprised that Mike Weaver is not still attacking the body of Pinkett Thomas. It's there, especially when he's close. Three-punch combination by Thomas backs Weaver up. These guys have done a lot of punches for the past six rounds. So they both are really fatigued. There's a good left hand right to the chin of Mike Weaver thrown by Pinkman Thomas. Now you can tell that Thomas is really tired because he throws that jab and he just drops it. I mean, actually lets it fall. But he still has a snap. And they both do. I think they're both tired, but they both are still bombing. And I think probably there's a little bit of a hesitancy really to follow up because you always have to allow for the fact the man's going to be standing there and you got to have something left. Goes up. Well, just then, Thomas threw an uppercut, right uppercut. That was a good punch because it was happening. Mike Weaver was starting to fall, fall in. A jab of Thomas is really bothering me. Weaver once more, and vice versa. Oh, a good left hand by Thomas, and it backs Weaver off once more, and another. Weaver seemed bothered by Thomas at the moment. 